The ventral hippocampus and the amygdala are part of an extensive neuronal circuit encoding emotional memories. Dysfunction of this circuit could lead to neuropsychiatric disorders in humans. We know that when an animal is under threat, the neuronal activity of the hippocampus and amygdala tend to oscillate at theta frequency. But what cellular mechanisms orchestrate hippocampus amygdala interactions? We previously found that the activity of some GABAergic neuron types of the basolateral nucleus of the amygdala is precisely timed with hippocampal theta oscillations. We now tested more directly whether interneurons of the basolateral amygdala are key modulators of the hippocampal inputs. So in order to address this question, we took advantage of the optogenetic tool channelrhodopsin, which allows us to turn specific neurons on using light. And using a viral vector, we expressed channelrhodopsin in ventral CA1 pyramidal cells of the hippocampus. And then we optogenetically stimulate ventral CA1 pyramidal cell saxons in the basal nucleus of the amygdala while recording from basal amygdala neurons in vivo. And we found that optical stimulation at theta frequency of CA1 axons activated the interneurons of the basal amygdala while it inhibited the principal neurons. We wanted to understand what was the mechanism responsible for the inhibition of principal neurons of the basal amygdala. In order to dissect the circuit involved, uh, we produced um, acute brain slices. We observed that the CA1 excitatory input uh, was stronger onto interneurons than principal neurons, resulting in a very robust fit for inhibition of the principal neurons of the basal amygdala. What are the synaptic uh, dynamics uh, that occur in the basal amygdala? Neurons when hippocampal CA1 um, excitatory cells uh, fire at theta frequency. We found that at the beginning of the theta stimulation, the fit for inhibition uh, was very strong, uh, resulting in a hyperpolarization of uh, principal neurons. But later on during the uh, theta stimulation, the fit for inhibition at attenuated, uh, resulting in a broader excitation of the principal neurons. So what could be the consequences of the cellular dynamics for synaptic plasticity? So the principal neurons of the basal amygdala don't receive input only from ventral CA1 pyramidal cells, but also from the lateral nucleus of the amygdala, which conveys information from somatosensory areas. Therefore, we reason that when synaptic inhibition depresses, leading to broader excitation to the principal neurons, the principal neurons may have more time to integrate excitation from lateral amygdala neurons. Thus, we paired electrical stimulation of the lateral amygdala theta frequency with optical stimulation of ventral CA1 pyramidal cells axons. And we found that this pairing produced long-term potentiation at excitatory synapses between the lateral amygdala and basal amygdala principal neurons. In conclusion, our work demonstrates that GABAergic neurons of the basal amygdala activated by the ventral hippocampal input, gate principal neuron synaptic integration and heterosynaptic plasticity. What are the implications of our finding? Our data represent a novel cellular mechanism by which a theta frequency input from the ventral hippocampus to the amygdala could promote associative fear learning.